my name is Lorian Beals, and I am here with Magical World of Words for Story Tapestries. And I'll just give it a minute here while people get connected and maybe settle in, maybe have your cup of coffee next to you or have a little one on your lap. So this morning, I'm going to actually read a story versus tell a story. Um, so I'm actually a dancer and a dance educator. Normally I tell stories with movement. So we'll try to add just a little bit of movement into uh, the story that I'm going to tell today. And uh, I also live in Italy. And since living in Italy, I teach English. I've been teaching English lessons now for almost nine years, which is hard to believe. And uh, my niece and nephew, as they have, are, are growing up and they grow out of certain books, they've shared some with me that I use with my students here in Italy. And my very youngest student, she just turned two years old, her name is Julia, she has a favorite book. And so today I thought to share with you uh, Julia's favorite book, which is called Ten Little Ladybugs. Ten Little Ladybugs was written by Melanie Girth and is illustrated by Laura Huliska Beith. We start, of course, with the number 10. We have 10 little ladybugs sitting on a vine. Along came a butterfly, and then there were... So for each of these pages, we have some animal friend who comes along and scares away a ladybug. So we're going to try to make movement together. So if I had a big space, I might be a butterfly by stretching my wings, and I could even use fabric or cloth to make beautiful, colorful wings. If I have a small space, I can maybe do it like this. I can cross my thumbs, and I can make those butterfly wings with my hands like this. This works really well if you're doing it as a shadow puppet, too. So we start with ten little ladybugs sitting on a vine. Along comes that butterfly. Go ahead and show me your butterfly. And then there were... how many ladybugs? Ah, nine! Oh, the page turned early. Nine! So we have nine little ladybugs skipping on a gate. Along came a caterpillar, then there were... First, let me see your caterpillar. I like to do my caterpillar like this. Of course, if he's skipping on the gate, maybe there's a little bounce to my caterpillar as he skips along the gate. He scares off that ladybug, so we go from nine, then there were nine, then there were eight little ladybugs looking up at heaven. Along came a bird. Now for a bird, I like to do this one like this, just with my little wings here. So I'm a bird because my wings go very fast, 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 fast if I'm a little bird. And so along came a bird. Go ahead and show me your wings. Flap, flap, flap. Perhaps you add some sound effects too. Tweet, tweet, tweet. And then there were seven Seven little ladybugs resting on sticks. Along came a grasshopper, and then there were... First we have to... Oh, for a grasshopper, I like to think about the sound that a grasshopper makes in summer. So a grasshopper in summer, when you hear it making that sound it's really its wings rubbing together so rub 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 and the faster you rub you can feel how your hands get warm and that reminds me of the warm sunshine of summer that's coming very soon seven little ladybugs resting on sticks along came a grasshopper and then there were six Six little ladybugs flying near a hive. Along came a bumblebee, and then there were... 
Now the bumblebee is Julia's favorite animal to say. And I like to do my bumblebee like this, because my bumblebee also likes to give a gentle tickle. Six little ladybugs flying near a hive. Along came a bumblebee and then there were, can you guess the number? It has to rhyme with hive. And so the number is five. Five little ladybugs sleeping by the shore. Along came a fish. Now my adults might be able to get fancy and do a fish like this, for my little ones that want to make a fish, if you can't get your cheeks quite to do that yet, you can do it with your hands and push your lips forward. My sister and I used to have a lot of fun making fish faces when we were kids. Five little ladybugs sleeping by the shore. Along came a fish and then there were, rhymes with shore, we have Let's see if we can count them. One, two, three, four. Four little ladybugs climbing up a tree. Along came a turtle. Turtle is actually Julia's favorite animal. And I like to do the turtle like this. I imagine that slow moving turtle. Along came a turtle, and then there were, hmm, has to rhyme with tree, we have the number three. Three little ladybugs drinking up dew. Along came a duck. Now the duck, it's impossible for me to do the movement of a duck without doing the sound. So I get out my little wings like this, my duck wings, and we quack, quack, quack. Quack, quack, quack. That's the best part of the duck is to make the sound, I think. Along came a duck, and then there were rhymes with do. We have two. Two little ladybugs basking in the sun. Along came a frog. Our frog, my frog, likes to jump. And he jumps like this, boing, boing, boing. Now maybe he does that while he says ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Go ahead and try out your frog who comes along to scare that ladybug away. Those poor ladybugs basking in the sun, along came a frog and then there was just, one, one little ladybug sitting all alone. Along came a breeze, and then she was. Show me your breeze. I like a nice gentle breeze versus wing. Breeze. That's the kind of wind we have outside today, a nice gentle breeze. That poor little ladybug all alone, along came that breeze and then she was home. And look at home, we have all of our animal friends there to join us and play and have a wonderful time. So what does your home look like? Home can look like a lot of different things. And for me, living in Italy, home is also something I carry with me right here, which means that wherever I go, I always feel like I carry the people that I love and that love me with me, which is extra special. If you enjoyed today's story, make sure you tune in. We have three more story times today as part of our magical world of words. There will be another teller at 12 p.m. Eastern time, another at 3 p.m. and at 6 p.m. And we have a very special event happening this evening with Story Tapestries called Amplify Us, a community workshop that's led by two facilitators, a spoken word artist who's an award-winning slam poet, Reggie Kabiko, 
and uh, a wonderful trained facilitator uh, who works also with some local Maryland organizations such as Arts on the Block, Miss Carolyn Lowry. And uh, that's a wonderful, wonderful thing for seventh graders and up through adults to participate in. It's free. Uh, you can check out how to register at storytapestries.org. Uh, the registration is through Eventbrite, and then um, in this age of COVID-19, we are doing this via Zoom. So you'll get a Zoom link when you register. It's from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m., and it will be a really incredible uh, opportunity to just have some conversation, to learn uh, about how to tell a story, how to tell your own story, um, and, and the value and importance of that and of sharing that very personal story with others. In addition to all of this, Story Tapestries has a lot going on these days, so if you're looking for activities and things to do, make sure you check out the website um, to get inspired. We have a YouTube channel with some playlists that you can follow, but most importantly, we're offering some online uh, courses. We're calling them virtual courses because essentially we're trying to make you feel like you're getting that uh, classroom experience but online um, and those classes are for every age group. So we have classes for pre-k to k, first and second graders, third through fifth graders, sixth through eighth for high school students, talking about college essays, how to do your interviews, um, all kinds of really great uh, tips and pointers and working with some really fabulous, fun artists. So make sure you check that out. Again, that registration is free. Although to make sure that our artists are taken care of and get a paycheck in a time when a lot of their regular in-person programs, whether it be classes or professional performances, of course, have been canceled in this period. So getting a, a contribution from you can help make sure that they can keep doing this work and, of course, pay for their basic needs like rent and food and all those good things that we all need to get by day to day. So uh, with that, I believe I've covered everything. It was a lot of things to, to tell you about. Ah, oh, no, I didn't say everything. I do want to share one little surprise that's coming that I think is really fun for you to know about and to be prepared for. So in addition to all of those, I mentioned all of the age groups of children, but we do also have courses for adults as well as for families to enjoy together. And one really fun family event that's going to be coming up every Thursday, we have uh, an evening event and it alternates between being a virtual happy hour that's adults only or on uh, Thursday the 23rd of April will be our first family game night so make sure you put that day in your calendar it'll be 7 to 7 30 p.m. and we're really excited to be working with Game Genius to bring some really cool um, personalized games into your living room that will bring a smile and joy uh, into your home, at least for that one evening, right? So thank you so much for joining. It's been great to see you. I'm gonna um, ask a little question as well. I wanted uh, to hear from all of you. If you've been watching, um, I would love to hear about your favorite animal to imitate. So if you had a lot of fun doing uh, some of our animal imitations, whether it was that caterpillar or maybe your jumping frog, I would love to hear about it, to see about it. So you can write to me, you can send me a picture of it, you can uh, catch a little video of um, your animal in action, but uh, please do interact. It's the best way for us to feel like um, we're actually, you know, in this together. And so conversation is an important part of that. And our best way to conversate now is with sharing comments and photos and videos uh, as best we can. Thank you so much for being with us and don't forget to reconnect at 12 o'clock. If you want to make sure you get a notification for the next video, just by liking the Story Tapestries Facebook page, uh, or by selecting to follow us, you can actually control and get a notification every time we go live so that you don't miss out on any of these fabulous stories. Thanks again. Have a great day.